fancy seeing you here. Hello. A <clears throat> long time no speak. Um, I haven't seen you for over a year. So I guess I should start with an apology. I'm sorry. Um, I have no excuses. I don't know why it's taken me so long. But here I am. As you can tell by the title, I am finally continuing with Torchwood. Yeah, applause. Um, it's it's been it's been over a year, I think, since um, since I what since since hmm, since I watched part one of Miracle Day. Um, my excuse. Don't have one. I re I really don't have one. I. Well, I guess I just didn't have the time and I just didn't prioritise Torchwood. Um, but New Year, New Me and all that malarkey. And also, um, I'm actually quite looking forward to watching Torchwood. I think um, when I started the first episode of Miracle Day, I was like, oh, this is very different. But having not watched it for a year, um, I'm just grateful to have more Torchwood content to watch so here I am and I'm actually really excited I my concern is that it's going to be too American I don't like it when British shows go American but as long as you know Gwen and Captain Jack are in it then I think it should be okay I also didn't realise there were so many parts. There's 10 episodes in this final season. Um, so this is episode two. I like this whole concept that people can't die. Um, so yeah, um, if anyone does watch this, could you please let me know if you would be interested in full length versions over on Patreon? Because if you are interested, then I shall do that. And if you're not, then I won't. Um, so yeah. Right. Let's just. Have you forgiven me for t for me taking so long? Are we forgiven? Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Amazing. Um, let's get on with it. How's that, Captain Yoram? I'll survive. I'm mortal, not dying. Well, technically, I guess I am dying, but slowly. But this thing that's happening to the world is miracle. It must have something to do with you. Great, so it's my fault. Can't be a coincidence, Jack. Of course it's not a coincidence. It doesn't mean to say it's his fault. Reese, are you defending me? Well, it's like we all got switched, innit? Nothing to do with Jack if the wires got crossed. Everything mortal becomes immortal, so everything immortal becomes mortal. Oh, yeah, of course. See? Jack's I'll give in trouble. You this ball. Come on, let's go. Get up. The more you fight, the more Why he enjoys it. Get him right. on the plane. Rex, please, I'm talking. Listen, somebody's been trying to kill us. Rex, Rex, no, keep us safe, please. I'll look after it. Rex! 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 I'll look after it, I promise. I do you like how back. intense Torchwood is? I am coming back. It's like Dr. Who after that. I am coming back. I am coming back. Rex! I am coming back. You fuck them. Superman overnight is that it? Do I heal? Do I just hurt you the rest of my life? Do I just hurt you the rest of my life? Wait, I've just. I'm, I'm having a mind blank, you know, it's been a year, but how did they know it was Torchwood that they needed to come and find? for the prisoners. So, uh, you're working closely with him? He's keeping you up to date? Yes, sir. We make quite a good team. Well, I'll bear that in mind. Uh, thank you, Esther. Thank you, sir. That's good. <laughs> So they, so does he want to get rid of Esther?
what is going on. Here. Nobody's gonna die. The first 60 minutes after the trauma, the golden hour, there's no golden hour anymore. All our reflexes are wrong. I don't understand. What do you want us to do? Don't you see? Even the worst injured aren't gonna die. So we need to do this backwards. Reverse it. We're desperate for beds, so we treat the minor injuries first. If you can get somebody out of here in 10 minutes, get them out. Okay. Free up the beds for the ones who need help. Okay, Samuel, start again. Start again. Right. Over here. Yeah. First, can I contribute to our global cultural hegemony with a nice frosty cola? Are they terrorists? Go and ask Rex if he wants a drink. Not my vodka. Just go ask him. She's gonna put something in that drink. Hibernation isn't fixed. There's a natural oscillation they've been tracking. Oscillation? You mean like someone turning a radio dial up and down on life? Well, basically up. Yes. Why does Howard at Mass General keep asking for more antibiotics? Who knows? Mass General has plenty of supplies. He's what Koons so is saying... He's not asking like for his hospital. Diseases like cancer and he's stuff. He's talking about a policy. Would the cancer just That's his fourth stop? post today. But what does he want? Oh. Hello? Esther Drummond? Uh, yes. This is Carla Hennessy at Pacific Monument Bank. We'd like to thank you for banking with us and discussing the investment options. No, actually, this isn't a good time. Investment options, I have nothing to invest. Well, $50,000 isn't nothing, Miss Drummond. Right, so she's getting too close to... to whatever they're hiding. What was in it? Take it easy. Well, are you saying I poisoned him? He drinks. He's sick. If you did anything, you better bloody tell me. I didn't. She was with me. Tell him I didn't touch the drinks, did I? This is ridiculous. No one's poisoned anyone. Hold on. You went to supervise him. That's what you said. Supervise. Who needs supervising for in a drink? What did you supervise exactly? So now you're accusing anyone. It's either you or the big gay steward. So my money's on you. I'm not gay. Just search him, Rex, please. Look, just look between you two. What? You and World War Two. I'm married with a baby. Yeah, married, baby, whatever. You two argue like people who are real close. <laughs> yeah, well, did you have a thing with your poison friend over there? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. But well, we got on each other's nerves. Really? Can't imagine. And there is no orange cube here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a degreaser, right? Yeah. Here we go. Whoa. She's gonna go all Gwen Cooper on your ass. That was your last chance. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? If you're the best England's got to offer, then God help you. I'm Welsh. It's okay! It's proof. We have absolute proof. We compared the telomeres from yesterday with the telomeres from 48 hours ago. There's no doubt. They're shortening. I haven't had a chance. Why? Will, will you listen to your voicemail sometime? We are being set up. They, they cleaned out your office and there's $50,000 in my bank account. Whoever's doing this, I bet they'll be waiting for you when you arrive. Someone's trying to erase Torchwood, right? What if they're also trying to erase anyone who's ever had any contact with Torchwood? Rex, do you hear me? That idea is extremely God, relevant. 2011, this was 10 years ago. Oh, you're with them? Yeah, that seems to be the ongoing situation. And according to recent amendments to U.S. Code Section 3184 and Section 3185 in transferring prisoners from airside to landside, the law clearly states 
that uh, once they touch down on American soil, they have free and easy access to one very important thing. And what's that? Bullshit. <laughs> Just, just drive, drive. I won't lie, the first like two thirds of that I found very slow and I just am finding it too American. I know I've said it before. Um, I don't like it when Doctor Who episodes go American. I don't really watch American stuff apart from Friends and the Big Bang Theory. So this whole American drama style is not really fitting with me. I wish they hadn't make, made it American. I wish they'd just kept it within the UK. But hopefully now we're going to have a bit more action. Um, there's obviously corrupt stuff going on. Um, and the lady with the twisted neck. For some reason I... It just didn't clock to me when he broke her neck while she was still alive. Ugh, Marie Claire, the whole point of this is that people can't die. But, yeah, I just... It's just very different, isn't it? They have just completely made it an American show. If you... I feel like if you... I just feel like it doesn't even feel like torture almost. It just feels like this whole, this brand new, um, this brand new show, which I think we're all very protective over our British shows and it's just very different, very different. But I'm interested to see where it goes with the whole, you know, people dying and there's still eight episodes to go, which is a lot. I'll probably still be reacting to Torchwood in like five years time, so bear with. Um, so yeah. Well, thanks for thanks for being here. And uh, I don't know when I'll see you again, to be honest. I don't know. I'm going to try and get Torchwood done. This year. Um, but I just don't have that same excitement to watch it, you know, if as, as when I did with the the first three series so we'll see um but yes thanks for joining me and i will see you very soon <laughs>